welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul for you guys from Fabletics. I want you to know that this review is not sponsored in any way. I spent my own coin on all the clothes I want to show you today. The reason why I decided I wanted to do a haul like this is for my frugal fashionistas in the gym. Um, also the curiosity behind Fabletics and how it actually works. So if you did not see it, I'm going to link up here my last Fabletics haul so you can see the first two leggings I got for $25 I believe is the promotion and how I like them and everything. To this day, I still enjoy those leggings. They're, they're very soft, they're very comfortable. So I kept ordering and did everything come out to my liking? Let's find out. So I have a stack of clothes here. And then the one, oops. And then the outfit I'm wearing today. So um, I'm also gonna talk about the sizing that I chose. Uh, to get everything started off, I want you to know how tall I am and how much I weigh. Just for reference, I am five, eight and a half, the half matters. And I weigh 165 pounds. Um, let's start with this number that I'm wearing right now. This first outfit I got for a total of $49.90. I had a little coupon for 5% off, um, which pretty much covered the shipping, if anything. Um, but every month you get to choose an outfit for between $39.95 all the way up to $79.95 usually. Um, and it's a two piece or a three piece in most cases. Um, I've been ordering a lot of two pieces. I just haven't had the need for a three piece. And a lot of times the three piece outfits just don't do it for me. So I just kind of go with the bra and the leggings. So let's talk about the bra first. This is the Perry Lace Up Sports Bra. It is in a pink color and its original price is $39.95. I do believe it's a little bit steep for a sports bra. Um, and do I think that it's worth $40? Um, my very first reaction is no, because it doesn't seem to have a whole lot of supports. It's very pretty. It is so far staying in place. I haven't had a chance to wear this outfit out to the gym yet. So, you know, I haven't tested it against the elements. Uh, for me though, I can already feel that it doesn't give a whole lot of support. It's a little loose. And I did get this bra in an extra small. I will explain why I got an extra small because I definitely did not think I was extra small, but I'm kind of learning that these bras go by fullness of the breast rather than of the upper waist, rib cage, back area, like most of my sports bras tend to do. Moving on to the capris. This is the high waisted seamless capri. Um, what color is this? It's like a cranberry, purpley, red, burgundy color. Um, I picked this color because I do not have this color in my leggings collection whatsoever. I tend to lean towards pinks and turquoises for my color scheme. So kind of, I'm trying to jump out of that scheme a little bit. And, I mean, and I have like a million black leggings, so I like this color. And I also have the same leggings in a blue, which I will show you next. It has this really cool detailing, it's kind of like a laser cut, but it's not actually laser cut. They're knotted on the end, so they will not run, so I do like that. And they don't really stretch out on flattering. Um, the leggings are for a stretch, so that's nice as well. They're very comfortable. Um, this pair that I'm wearing right now, I've got in a small. The blue pair are in a size medium, so you can kind of see the same legging in two sizes, um, how it fits my body. This is really tight. Again, this is my first time wearing this particular outfit, so it hasn't been washed. You see a little bit of back fat when I turn to the side, um, but I did want a snugger fit because I found with, with the blue ones, there was some bunching in the front. That, that was a little bit unflattering, so I wanted to get a smaller size when I knew I was ordering the same leggings for the second time in a row. And these capris do retail for $39.95. So here are the blue leggings. They are the exact same as the burgundy ones. Like I said, I did get these in a size up. I got them in a medium. 
so I like the way they fit a little less snug around the thighs, um, but there is a little bit of etching in the front. Um, I have worn them a couple of times, so they have been washed. Um, like I said, the detailing doesn't really fray or stretch unflatteringly or any of that, so I do like it. Uh, doesn't really serve as an air conditioning at all, but the material that this is made out of is pretty light. It is supposed to be the seamless material, and I found it to be seamless, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, so I really like these leggings for a casual wear. I am curious to see as they get a little older um, and they start to wear down how they will fit, will they start to fall down at the top. It's been my um, experience with leggings in this particular fabric in the past. These leggings are 92% nylon, 2% or 8% elastane. Um, so I do, I am familiar with this type of legging. Leggings, usually they are the cheaper variety. Um, these, however, do feel a little bit thicker than normal. So, no, I'm not anticipating on wearing these when I know I'm gonna have a heavy, um, high intensity workout day, but from day to day, I'm a personal trainer, so I just live in leggings. I think that these are perfect and they're cute, and I get a lot of compliments on them. For the order that I got with the navy blue leggings, I also got two more. Um, these two actually came as a part of a set. So these leggings are in a, when I saw them on the website, I thought they were gonna be army green. So I was a little bit disappointed when I got them because I wanted army green leggings. These are kind of like in a, a stony blue, they look a lot more turquoise on camera, but they're like a, a, a stony grayish turquoise color. I don't know. They have uh, the bottom has this mesh type feel to it. Um, it does act as a nice air conditioning when it's a little hot outside, and there's also there's this drawstring. Uh, so that you can kind of change up the look. You can make them more into capris or you can stretch it out and have them a little bit longer. These do come down to my ankles. I do like that about a long legging. Since I do have long legs, I want a legging that's going to reach down sometimes just for the look. I think leggings that are actually like long enough to be leggings are cute and they're rare to find. Normally they fit me like seven eighths. This legging is called the Cash Shell Power Form. Uh, fold over legging and it retails for $49.95. The bra that came with it, so this is this is why I went and ordered a extra small for this bra. I ordered this bra and it fit really baggy on me and I felt like, you know, my chi chis are already small, but I felt extra small, you know what I mean? Um, the detailing on the back is cute, um, eye-catching. Um, and the front is really plain and I feel like the top comes up a little bit higher than I would have liked um, But I do feel like it's full coverage for the most part had it been in my actual size I would feel probably a lot more comfortable in this bra, but I won't be doing any high pack high impact exercises with this bra because I do not feel secure at all if it's a little baggy on me and I might not wear it ever unless for a photo shoot or something. But even then, I don't find it to be super flattering for my chest size. This bra is called the Connor Seamless Bra, and it retails for $29.95. This bra is $10 less than the bra that I'm wearing right now, and I don't see any difference in the quality. So I don't know if they just kind of price for popularity's sake or what, but um, yeah, $10 difference. I don't see it personally, so my advice is if there's something popular, um, while things go fast on Fabletics, they also come out a range of different colors and they do reorder after the initial sale of the outfit is done. If there's something you really like, I would wait until a little bit older to buy, but you are gambling because like I said, stuff goes fast. This beautiful eye-catching black outfit is the Philomena mesh uh, high-rise or sorry mid-rise legging and long sleeve top I first saw this outfit on Hope Scope's channel she did a sponsored video with Fabletics and she mentioned that this outfit would probably go fast it was part of the Demi Lovato collection and that collection is known to go by 
something like that. So before the video was even done, I logged into Fabletics and I purchased that outfit for the outfit of the month for me. Uh, you can skip months and you don't get charged the $49.95 monthly fee as long as you skip by the fifth of each month. So I set a timer um, or I set an alarm to say skip this month if I don't plan on buying anything. And I wasn't planning on buying anything that month, but that outfit looks so cute on her. I was like, I need it. And I, it's absolutely my favorite, favorite outfit outfit that I've ever purchased from Fabletics. Maybe I've purchased in a long time as far as leggings are concerned. Um, so it is of the same um, polyester and elastine fabric that the others are made out of. It is, is pretty comfortable even with the mesh detailing. Um, it, because it's so thick and there are seams along each of the little holes, I don't anticipate them coming apart or your toe going through them and ripping them or anything like that with other mesh meshes. So I think that these will have good staying power and I do think even though it is full of holes, it will be warm in the colder months. So I'm interested in wearing these when it's a little cooler in Georgia. It's probably not going to be till January, but I do love the way this fits. It's, it's black so it's slimming and that's always a check mark in my book. Um, the leggings kind of stay in place pretty well. I did order the bottom to medium and the top in the small and it fit pretty well unlike the small bra. I think it fit pretty perfectly. Knowing that I have long arms as well, the arms fit as they should. So yes, I my favorite, favorite, favorite outfit of the whole thing on Fabletics. This is my favorite outfit. At the time, both separates were worth $49.95. Right now, you can find them on the site, retailing at $34.95 for the top and the bottom separately. So like I said in the beginning, even though things go fast, they do reorder and they do restock. And I can't really speak to what sizes they have on the site right now, but it did go down quite a bit, about $15 if you just want one of the pieces. I got them as an outfit though together and it was $49.95 for a book. So with that being said, with Fabletics, I think it is totally worth it to join. Just set an alarm for the months that you do not have the money to spend or you don't want to spend at Fabletics. It doesn't cost you anything extra just to skip that month. And if you happen to forget to skip and you do get charged, it does act as, act as a store credit. So in a future month when you do want to purchase, you'll have that store credit to go towards your next purchase. So it's not really money lost. It's kind of money saved for another outfit. Do I think that $50 per outfit is a little steep? Yes and no. If you are super, super frugal and you like to shop bargain, um, bargain basement pricing, this might be a little bit more than you want to spend. For me, I am a fitness professional. These are work clothes for me and I will spend a little bit more for better quality. I think the outfits priced together for about $50 rather than separate prices is absolutely affordable and I believe that it is worth its cost and quality. Um, I'm not a Lululemon girl. I, I refuse to pay $100 for a pair of leggings. So this for me, $25 for top and bottom, right in my price range for the quality that I'm looking for. So that my, my girl is my review of Fabletics. If you want to see more things in the future, let me know. It will take me a few months to compile a couple of outfits because I do not do the whole like, well, let me spend $500 and tell you what I got kind of hauls. Not yet. If you want to see those, girl, subscribe, hit the bell, follow me on Instagram. I will need those followers for the kind of coin, you know what I'm saying? Help a girl out. But I will be more than happy to do some more reviews on some different clothing. Um, yeah, so that's it for me, guys. Um, again, subscribe, share the video, all that. I'll see you guys in the next video.